barbershop conversation, guys, feel free to hit the subscribe button. So Anthony Joshua and Klitschko fights today. Finally got a big time heavyweight fight that is big outside the ring. We've been waiting on this since. You guys helped me out. Man, I mean, we've had good fights. But I'm talking about where it galvanizes everybody who's a boxing fan and then their girlfriends come and quite possibly your, your girlfriend invite her, her, her husband, her boyfriend to come over and watch the fight at the heavyweight division. It's been quite some time. So I'm excited for this. But let's talk about my prediction. I got Anthony Joshua winning. Uh, and this is why I have Anthony Joshua winning. Um, as obviously, I believe he has the skills to beat him, but I'm just going to talk about Vladimir Klitschko as a as a fighter. <clears throat> he lost to Tyson Fury and sat on his behind, and and he sat, and I believe he just waited for the next payout. He could have beat up a six one, six foot heavyweight, you know, just to stay busy. But his goal was not to stay busy. It was kind of like the Amir Khan syndrome. You know what I'm saying? Where you become an ambulance chaser. And I just, and I just believe that's what Vladimir Klitschko is doing. 80, 90,000 people will be at Wembley Stadium. It's, it is the biggest heavyweight fight we have seen. And poof, 90,000 people? You guys tell me. I, the Thriller in Manila. Um, Rumble in the Jungle. In terms of people. Not in terms of actual talent in the ring. Help me out with that. And um, so I'm actually excited to see this fight. But I just think Vladimir Krisco is just here for a payday. Because he didn't do anything to prepare. And when you're Vladimir Krisco, you can hand pick a bum. You understand what I'm saying? Because in his country, with the family and sports and politics, I believe he can fill up a stadium. Small stadium, big stadium, I don't know. But I believe he has the power to bring in a $50,000 opponent to get knocked out and keep him ready for uh, <clears throat> an Anthony Joshua type. Because in sports, you always want to be prepared. And Vladimir Crisco hasn't done the steps to prepare. And some of you guys might argue maybe he put himself in the freezer to preserve himself, right, for the two years he was off. I think it'll be two years this month, last month. I don't know exactly, but <clears throat> but uh, we just have to wait and see, but I don't think this fight's going to distance. <clears throat> I think Joshua wins um, easy. So let me know what you guys think. Are there anyone picking Klitschko? Feel free. But um, we'll just sit back and enjoy this fight. I'm actually watching this fight on the East Coast, so I'll be watching that 4 o'clock. It was funny. Last night, I was telling someone, hey, the fight is at 1 o'clock. Where are we watching the fight at? <clears throat> they said, no, buddy, you're on West Coast time. It's at 4 o'clock over here. So anyways, man, Barbershop Conversations, feel free to hit the subscribe button. And uh, I got Joshua by KO over Vladimir Klitschko. Talk to you soon. Peace.